Hello everybody, my name is Juan Vila and the product and application specialist covering excavator product line in Africa Middle East. On my back we have the 374 next generation excavator. I'm here in Malaga demonstration and learning setting and I'm just going to take advantage I have the machine here to show you some of the key features and benefit that we have put on this next generation 374. So if you can walk with me and I'll show you some of the key things. Just first, let me tell you that before, when we're developing this machine, we have done a lot of market research, a lot of uh, customer interview to just understand what are the elements or the critical elements that you need on this machine. And basically, collectively, the same responses came up. You need, on the first, most important for you on this size of machine is in productivity. That's something we have in, uh, done a lot on this machine to preserve, to conserve the top industry leading productivity on this size range. That's something we, we make sure we have it here. On the other side, you tell us, you need a machine reliable and durable because I need my job set up and running nonstop. And we have done a lot of changes, a lot of enhancement on this machine to increase the durability and the, and the reliability of the machine. And I'm just gonna show you some uh, uh, as, we, as we progress. And last but not least, you told us all these and you wanted lower operating costs, so lower fuel, lower maintenance costs, which we also did on this machine and without any safety concern or any safety issue. You wanted to have the most safer machine as, as much as possible. And this is something we have put all on the machine for that. So starting as, I, as I'm right now on the machine on the back, I'm going to start with the front linkage and we're going to start talking about durability and reliability. Inside the front linkage, the stick, the boom, we have done a lot of uh, uh, redesign, a lot of reinforcement inside and outside to make the machine more resistant, more durable. Just to give you some numbers on examples, if you take the bottom plate here on the stick, we have increased the thickness of that play up to 14% depending of the, of, the, of the stick configuration, but up to 14% thicker than our previous model, uh, just to make it more durable and more resistant. Same for the boom you have there. I mean, if you take the bottom play on the arch, which is the part that is more susceptible to, to get the strength, we have increased the thickness of that play, particularly up to 59% if compared with our previous model. And if you see on the top, we have increased the thickness of that play up to 36%. So that gives you an idea of how far we went in terms of increasing the structural resistance of the machine. We don't, we just not do this on the front linkage. Obviously the cylinder is another key part of the front linkage, right? We also have enhanced the material of the cylinder road to make it more resistant, to make it more durable. And we also have added additional well rings on the, on the piston and the road to make it less susceptible to, to, to hydraulic oil linkage, but also to make it more durable for, for you. Last but not least, if I have the bucket right, right, right now here. This is, just to give you an example, a five cubic meter heavy duty bucket. All our buckets, we designed it for the machine and with the machine to make it more durable, to make it more resistant, to make it more productive. This one is a five cubic meter bucket. You can load a 40 tons uh, truck with five passes, which is very productive uh, setup of the bucket I go with the, with the truck. Another feature we have included on the super large hex 374 and 395 next generation is the pre-install auto loop system. We have equipped the machine that's gonna come from factory with all the brackets, all the pre-installed system on the stick, on the boom, on the upper frame. So it's easy for you to install your preferable brand of auto lubrication system. On top of that, we have included in the toolbox the harness, the electrical power supply already for the grease pump. So it's going to be easy for you to install the, the, the grease pump. And also we have already pre-installed from factory the mount for the, for the, grease, the grease pump, a grain, to make it easy for you to install your preferable brand of auto lubrication system on these machines. As we continue now with the car body and the upper frame, obviously a key part uh, on the machine because it's taking a lot of stress coming from the digging. We also, with the same approach of the front linkage, we have done a lot of reinforcement inside and outside to make it more durable, more resistant, and also in the key areas and overall, all the upper frame and the lower frame, we have put plates, thicker plates of the front linkage to make it more resistant to the, to the strength. All right, let's move to this side. And now let's talk a little bit on the on the on the undercarriage. Pretty much the same approach. We have really increased the strength, the durability on the carriage. You have to give you some example. We redesigned 
the track frame to make it more durable, more resistant. Also the track links that you see here, we have increased the thickness, the height of the track link also to make it more, more resistant. And last but not least also the track roller, we have increased, we have enhanced the track roller to make it more resistant, especially for higher loads that we normally see or we can find in this type of application where the machine works. As we go and we continue, and now I'm going to get up, as you can see, very easy to get into the machine or to, the side, to this side of the machine, very safe, handrails everywhere. Here I have a couple of compartments easy to access to. This one is for the AdBlue, if we're talking about a high regulated country or emissions or high emission regulated country. If it's not, you will have a nice toolbox for, for the LRC territory, for light, low reg regulated countries. And on this side, we also have the refueling pump completely electrical. As I get up to the machine, and uh, please take, uh, take note of how safe it is to get all the time to the engine compartment. As you can see, very safe, but I just wanted to get sit here because I want to show you one of the key changes or features that we have put on this machine, which is what I have on my front, the swing circuit. On this machine, we have put a dedicated swing circuit, which is completely independent from the main valve, and that enables a few improvements. The first one, we have increased the swing torque on this machine 10% if compared with previous models that, as you might know, especially working on slope, is something that the operator really appreciates. On the other side, that enables us to make the multifunction. When I say multifunction, is that when the machine on the digging cycle and loading and dumping cycle, the machine is doing several movements. It's swinging, it's moving the bucket, it's moving the boom and stick. That enables to have that flow dedicated, to one flow of the main valve dedicated to the, through the front linkage and completely separate the, the hydraulic circuit is completely working individually, which enables a faster uh, operation in multifunction. At the end also, especially on the swing braking, when the, the swinging is over the operator is, is, is braking, that also enables us to reduce that braking energy back to feeding the engine on, or to move the engine, which also enables us to save fuel. So more torque, less fuel, and more uh, speed on the multifunction operations. So now we talk about the circuit. I'm going to take advantage. I'm here to talk about the hydraulic system or the hydraulic tank, OK? Remember, one of the key things on the, on the next gen hex is about reducing operating costs, reducing man maintenance costs. We have reduced the maintenance cost of this machine if compared with previous model up to 20% less maintenance cost. And let's talk about a little bit of the changes we have done to improve the maintenance cost. I'm going to take, for example, this uh, hydraulic tank here and the filters. On the hydraulic tanks, if you're going to refill or when you do the service, you're going to need 127 liters less of hydraulic tank if compared with our previous model for a 30% reduction in the need of hydraulic uh, oil. On the main hydraulic return filter, we have increased, we have extended the interval changes from 2,000 hours to 3,000 hours, so 50% increase in the service interval. So continue talking about maintenance costs or reduction in maintenance costs, and remember 20% less maintenance costs than the previous model. Now we have here the fuel filter. As you can see, very accessible, primary, primary and secondary filter. Here we have extended the service interval by double. So basically we're moving for 500 hours that we used to have on previous excavators or generation of excavator to 1000 hours that now we have in our 374 next generation excavator. Engine compartment, I'm just gonna open to show you what is in there. And I don't think I need to tell you a lot. C15, very reliable, very durable, very powerful engine with 362 kilowatts of full power to the machine to give that top for productivity in the market. So keep going and now I'm gonna get down. And you can see, as again, very safe access, very easy, convenient. I'm gonna walk on this side, very safe. I'm talking about safety, pay attention here. Right hand side view camera integrated on the machine, completely visible from the main screen of the operator, completely integrated on the main screen of the operator for a better visibility and upgradable up to 360 view for a better visibility if need be. As I get now to the pump compartment, two main pumps feeding the main valve, electronically controlled valve for a better fuel efficiency, which with the additional swim pump that we already mentioned there, enables to increase the maximum flow of the system 27% if compared with the previous model. Talking about the filters that we see here, the, the case drain filters and the pilot, and talking about maintenance costs, 
Remember, 20% less maintenance cost. On this one, we also have doubled the service interval. We have moved from 500 hours to 1,000 hours, obviously for lower maintenance cost. Additionally, as you can see, we have grouped all the hydraulic filters in the pump compartment. You don't need to go anywhere else to service it. All of them also accessible, very easy. So faster and easier maintenance. So as we continue and pay attention how safe if to go down, and now, go on, and now I'm gonna move to the back of the machine. But before, I just want to show you the wall wake. I guess you already see it, but one of the things that we are going to offer, this one is fixed, but we're going to offer, as in previous model, as an option, the tilt up automatically uh, wall wake because it's very susceptible when you are around the machine or you hit an object. This is easy to smash, to, to damage. We're going to offer what is unique in the industry, the tilt up wall wake. So in case the wall hit the object, it will automatically go up and go down to prevent the, the, the wall weight to damage, which is very common. As we continue, and now, obviously here we are in the counterway of the machine, what I want you to pay attention here is the rear view camera for safety. This is something we have equipped in all our next generation excavator, regardless if it's a GC or not. All next generation excavator worldwide will come with the rear view camera integrated in the counterway for a better safety. All these rear view camera, you can see it from the main screen. No additional screen to be added for the, for the rear view camera. Now let's move to the left side of the machine. And I'm just gonna get up in the machine and just pay attention how say it for me to climb all the time. Three point of contacts, very safe to go to this side of the machine. Handrails everywhere. I'm gonna open now the cooling compartment. What I want you to pay attention here is the two dedicated cooling compartments. This one for the radiator, fuel cooler, air conditioning, turbo. This one for the hydraulic. On the back, there are two independent hydraulic fans electronically controlled. What this allows, the benefit for you is first, it allows the system in intelligently to put energy when it's needed and where exactly it's needed. And when it's not needed, the electronically system will detect it, will reduce the fan speed or will stop it to save that energy, to save that fuel for you. Also, the electronically controlled hydraulic fan system allows the automatic reverse that uh, completely manageable by the operator in the cab. So the benefit for you is the operator can, from the cab, completely put the reverse fan to clean up the system, to take all the dust from the, from the cooling uh, compartment. So I'm just gonna now, obviously close this here. As we continue, I'm talking about safety. The left-hand side camera, as I, as I said before, upgradable up to 360 beer eye view. On this side, as you can see, as you can see, very easy to access. I can access to the rest of the machine, so I can basically walk around on the machine. On this side, we have the air filtration system or the new redesigned air filter as in previous next generation excavator. And what is the key on this? Basically, with this re uh, new design, we have the pre-cleaner integrated here, secondary and primary, primary filter double the retention, double the dust retention if compared with previous model for obviously for longer life. Another element to highlight is the commonality between parts that we have put on the next generation excavator. Just to take in the air filter here as an example, if you take from the 13 tons, one three tons excavator, 313, up to the 395, we only have four type of air filters. This one, for instance, just to give you an example, is compatible with the 336 air filter you have on the machine, with the 345 GC, obviously for make it easy for you to stock in the parts, but also to reduce your stock parts in the, in the yard. So, I'm gonna now move to the, to the cap of the machine, as I wanted to show you also a little bit of the comfort and uh, enhancement we have did we have done on the interface and let me just get it here into the cab as you can see very safe to all the time walk towards the machine first thing to pay attention the tiltable 
console for easy access and egress, as you can see. And as I get seated here, the first thing I notice is the comfort of the seat, air suspension seat. Close the tilt console and be, I mean, how comfortable and how easy or, or how the visibility of the machine. This is something we, we have redesigned on the cab to improve the visibility, but also the comfort and safety of the operator. I mean, if you can see air suspension seat for com better comfort on the operation, everything completely accessible to the operator. Nothing is, I mean, the operator doesn't need to, to, to twist to put it, to press any button, everything is a full access to the operator. And then the operator have the interface through weather, the main interface through weather, the touch screen, but also if it doesn't like or he doesn't want to use the touch screen, he can basically control everything here from the jog dial. He have shortcut button again, completely accessible. And on top of that, he, the operator can basically program the shortcut or most of the shortcut buttons on the joystick so he don't doesn't even to press any button for the key things that the operator will be doing uh, more often so very comfortable cabin very safe very easy for the operator to be there i mean long hours as we know in this machine the operator will be doing with that the last thing i wanted to share with you but I, i'm gonna pass right now with our demonstration side with fran and our operator fran are you there well, hello Juan, yeah, I'm here, I'm still here, I'm out in the field. Um, just like to talk, as you've been talking about safety, I would like to show you what we have on the, on the machine, okay? This machine is equipped with the 10 inch monitor and the four cameras on the machine. Um, we, I can toggle in between all four different cameras. I do also need the 10 inch display screen, okay, to get the 360 visibility. So you can see this is just all four different cameras independently scrolling through. And you can see if I come into the menu, and I click on the 360 visibility. Okay, the, the image is gonna go black. It's doing a small calibration. It's stitching the images together of all four cameras. And now you can see I have a 360 view of the machine, okay? Um, again, there are different views, different modes that we can look at. So this would be a full 360 view around the machine. I can have also a view of just the rear part from the top. Uh, also a rear, a rear top view a bit wider and the top view of the front and I'm back to my 360 view okay so the last thing I want to show you is, is the lift assist it's another one of the nice features that we carry on from the medium sized excavators okay so what I'm going to do I'm going to lift up the block and I'll, I'll walk you through what I can see on the screen okay Okay, so basically what I've got here is, um, this is the height of my lifting eye. So it's three and a half meters off the ground. It's showing the reach. So I'm 8.7 meters away from the center of the machine, which is 92% of its reach, okay? Um, it's showing the actual load. So I've got seven tons hanging off the lifting eye, which is 62% of its rated um, maximum load. So right now here it's saying that we could lift up 11 tons. So that's 62% what we actually have right now on the on the weight. So on this on these green circles here we can see this is the you can see the outside line is thicker. That's the actual um, swing radius that I'm in. So it's showing that if I swing into the right at this distance I would go into a danger zone. So I'm going to swing around a bit so we can see what actually happens. You're going to see the rated um, load is actually changing now because I'm getting closer to the machine. But once I swing over the corner, this rated load is actually going to drop quite a bit because it's not the same um, stability over the side than over the front. So you can see now we've already gone down to 11.3. And uh, if I keep on reaching out, we're going to see these green arrows can turn into orange or red warning us that we go into a uh, danger zone, okay? So you can see my rated load is actually going down because I'm reaching out further. And these arrows have turned into red or orange, warning me that if I keep on going in that direction, we go into the danger zone, okay? Okay, so you can see now I'm on 93% of its rated uh, maximum load. Okay, and if I keep on going, I've got a warning now that I'm close. 
and now I have a, a different alert telling me that I've, I'm on overload. Okay, so that's it. Um, I'm going to hand it back to Juan. I uh, hope you've enjoyed and have a nice day. Thank you, Frankie. Nice demonstration. As you can see, I mean, leaf seed, e-fence is some of the technology that comes standard on this machine, but there are more. This machine comes standard from factory with 2D gray system. If you are a grading application or, or ball cut or grading application, it comes standard also with the payload system. We know for this size of machine, loading trucks is something you will do every day. And loading trucks on target with the payload system is something that's going to help you to be more productive. So remember, that's going to help to increase the productivity and come standard on the machine. So with that, I hope it's clear. Remember, increase in durability, increase in reliability, lower maintenance costs to 20% lower maintenance costs, better fuel efficiency, all the technologies packed standard front on the machine. So with that, nothing else to say. Thank you very much for your attention and see you next time. Bye.